Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Alex Newbiging, and I am Group Managing Director of Jardine Cycling Carriage Limited, a firm listed here in Singapore. <clears throat> it gives me great pleasure to address such an esteemed audience today. I've been asked to make some comments on the automotive landscape in Southeast Asia as it relates to the integration goals of the Asian economic community. I should first point out, however, that Jardine Cycling Carriage is not an automotive OEM, and we have several interests in sectors beyond the automotive field as well. But we do participate in many parts of the automotive value chain across a number of Southeast Asian countries, uh, and hence have a, a certain perspective on the subject. We have a strategic interest of just over 50% in Astra, the leading Indonesian conglomerate, and the largest non-OEM automotive group in the region. Outside of Indonesia, we also have automotive interests in Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam, and more recently in Myanmar. Across the region, we work with the leading Japanese, Korean, and European brands. Along with our other non-automotive interests, we employ more than 200,000 people across Southeast Asia, and we are a member of the Jardine Matheson Group. Over the past year, we sold more than 680,000 four-wheel vehicles and more than four million motorcycles in the region. And to put this into perspective, a total of three and a half million cars or vehicles were sold in uh, ASEAN last year, which means that about one in five were either manufactured or sold by us or our associate companies. So over the course of this talk, I'll touch briefly upon the automotive landscape in the region and the associated goals of the AEC, elaborate on some challenges and offer some views on which parts of the automotive value chain and which countries perhaps are likely to benefit the most from AEC integration and what we might realistically expect. The automotive sector generally plays a distinctive role in each country's development as they industrialize. And if planned properly, the industry creates jobs and wealth both directly and indirectly, brings in technology and generates substantial tax revenues. Despite the still emerging stage of many countries within ASEAN, taken as a, a, a 10 country block, ASEAN is already the seventh largest automotive market in the world. And with a population of over 600 million people in the region, we expect the industry to grow further as the region becomes more affluent. To illustrate the potential in terms of the number of registered passenger cars per thousand people, Vietnam and the Philippines have around 12 cars per thousand. Indonesia has around 60 and Thailand 80. The leader in vehicle penetration in ASEAN is Malaysia with around 300 passenger cars per, per thousand people. But if you compare this with uh, the United States and the UK with 800 and 500 cars per thousand people, you can see uh, that there is a lot of growth potential. This obviously assumes that the infrastructure can be developed to accommodate greater volumes. Uh, and this was a, an interesting subject matter in, in this morning's round tables. In terms of demand potential and other key drivers of the industry, uh, really the emerging middle class is the key. And when per capita income reaches between three to 5,000 US dollars, we generally see uh, a big trigger point in volumes. So most of the ASEAN countries are either moving towards or, or within or, or above this level. Uh, and as an example, in Indonesia, over the past five years, we've seen an average growth rate of over 20% per year in terms of uh, vehicle sales. But to understand the AEC's impact on the automotive industry, we have to break down the, the automotive value chain. Uh, the value chain starts with the upstream manufacturing and components and the production of vehicles themselves. Uh, in 2012, just over 4 million vehicles were uh, manufactured in ASEAN. Thailand had about 60% uh, of that share, and uh, Indonesia about 25%. The mid to downstream element of the value chain comprises distribution, retail, and after-sales service, along with peripheral services such as consumer finance and auto insurance. And other downstream activities include the trading of used cars and car rental services, etc. Jardine Cycling Carriage plays a role in almost every part of this value chain with different parts in different countries. And the trading landscapes are, are very different. Tariffs, obviously, uh, are, 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 are key. Uh, Vietnam still has 70 to 80% import duties on certain imported passenger cars, only 7 to 15% on assembly components. And although tariff uh, levels are being brought down within the ASEAN region, um, there, there still remain some obstacles. 
So the concept of the ASEAN Economic Community is designed to take this to the next level, and I trust that you're aware of the overarching goals of the AEC to build a single market and create a level playing field for ASEAN member countries, so I won't expand on, on this in great detail. But in regards to the auto sector specifically, uh, really, it's focusing on the elimination of tariffs and non-tariff tariff measures, but particularly the harmonization of technical standards and certifications is a very important uh, driver of any true integration, as well as streamlining of uh, other, um, uh, other taxes and particularly customs procedures to reduce costs for cross-border trade. In theory, businesses should be able to evaluate the strengths of each country and spread their operations accordingly to reap the most benefits, with each country finding its own competitive niche within an ASEAN-wide industry. But there are several obstacles, and many of these, or most of them really, are not unique at all to the automotive sector. Firstly, there's the wide disparity in the economic and political situation of each country. Apart from vastly different levels of GDP per capita, the importance of the auto industry to each country is quite different. For example, the sector contributes about 4% of GDP to the Philippines, 12% to Thailand. Therefore, clearly one would expect different countries to prioritize the industry in different ways. Secondarily, the AEC is based on consensus, and given each national priority, there will be a different urgency to integrate differently. And this will slow down the integration process, in my view. Thirdly, the definitions of certain initiatives remain unclear, and there are, there are many practical issues pending. So, whilst tariff elimination calls for the removal of import duties within ASEAN for products with 40% local content, the, the definition of local content varies amongst countries. Whilst there are also other local taxes, registration fees, etc., which AEC is often silent on. Finally, I do believe that the myriad of bilateral and multilateral free trade agreements further complicates matters, uh, along with other regional economic partnerships such as TPP, et cetera. I think these are all very beneficial in their own ways, but it does make it more complex for each nation to calculate their own pluses and minuses and determine how they will ultimately benefit in totality. So these are sensitive and practical issues. We should be prepared for ASEAN members, especially those at a lesser stage of development, to take time to resolve some of these. But I do believe that most countries in the region realize that globalization is a reality and that the natural first step is to find their competitive niche on a regional level. If barriers are reduced in cross-border trade within the region, manufacturers can evaluate their supply chain and choose to consolidate production. In the auto industry, we expect Thailand to be a significant beneficiary for manufacturing, given its long-established auto capability and it's already dominant role in certain export segments, such as one-ton trucks. And we believe that Indonesia will continue to emerge strongly as a second hub, benefiting also from its massive domestic market. But moving down the value chain to distribution and retail, these are areas where a deep understanding of local customer preferences is essential and where the value chain becomes more fragmented. So we believe that the AEC should have a lesser impact on local players in these segments, and they will continue to dominate and drive the growth in their respective markets. In terms of the ASEAN automotive block becoming a hub for a global auto industry, I believe this remains some way off, and intra-ASEAN inter integration must clearly be the first step. But some ecosystems will start to, uh, so, some pockets will, will start to reveal themselves as being globally competitive. So in conclusion, the direction makes sense. It will take time to, uh, for, for some countries to restructure and upgrade their economies and create new competencies if required. Some countries may benefit more quickly. I mentioned Thailand, Indonesia in the case of the manufacturing and auto components uh, ecosystems. Uh, whilst other countries, particularly the emerging Mekong Delta countries, I think you're going to have to recalibrate where their sources of strength are in the equation. And I would urge some of the stronger economies to support some of the, the less strong economies if one wants to move this forwards. I also believe that local businesses will always continue to play an important role in the distribution and retail segments. And we must remember, again, that with penetration levels so low, um, any initiative that lowers the cost to the end consumer 
uh, will help to trigger greater volumes and a larger pie that will benefit all aspects of the industry and local economies. So I do believe we're living in exciting times where despite headwinds uh, from time to time, from time to time, the ASEAN is nonetheless witnessing an era of unprecedented growth and hope. And I'm confident that the region will grow in peace and hopefully be able to become more competitive globally to the benefit of all nations, businesses, individuals, and the region as a whole. Thank you. <laughs>